Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are talking about lipstick. It's been a long time since I've been really excited about a like standard bullet lipstick. So today we are talking about a lipstick from Bobbi Brown. These are the Color Crush Lip Colors and they've been around for a little while. Uh, they've been on counter for a little while now. Um, but what's new is that they have just released some new shades in collaboration with some uh, girl crushes. So if you're keen to hear more about the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Colors, then please stay tuned. So these have been on counter for a little while now, um, and they have got a bit of a cult following because they're a little bit different. I think in the current world of ultra glossy or ultra like dry down matte, these are something a little bit different. So while these lipsticks do have really great color payoff, they're the sort of lipstick that you would blot down to be quite um, long wear, but they have almost like a staining kind of look about them. I've got six um, of the regular shades here and I've got one of these sort of collaboration shades and I thought I'd go through and show you these lip colors, how they apply and kind of what they look like after being blotted down. So the first shade is a shade that I'm currently wearing. So this is Bitten and you can see that there's a little bit of sheen there. They're not like entirely matte, they're more of a satin. Once you put them on, they're really comfortable. And they give, like I said, great color payoff, but once you blot them down a bit, they give this really like, I don't know, this really pretty look to the lips. Like, it's like kind of matte, but really juicy looking. So that's, that's that mess there. So this is the shade Bitten, and I think this one's my favorite. The next shade I've got here is called Cabana. This one's got a little bit more brown in it than that last pink, but it is still a really nice pink. And it's got a bit of a corally peach look to it as well. So it's a bit of a strange one to describe. Did you see how like easy that was to apply? So the texture of these is that there's a little bit of grip to them. So you're not gonna put them on your lip and slip away. And because they aren't like, one swipe total opaque color you're they're a little bit more forgiving these are almost almost mirrorless lipsticks in that you can apply them without a mirror but again really um comfortable wearing on the lips the slip there let's have a look at how this looks once blotted down <laughs> again just really juicy this would be a really great like my lips are better kind of color oh this one was my favorite but maybe this one's my favorite Next we have Cranberry. And this one, I guess you can see what I'm talking about when I'm saying that it's not full opaque. Like they're almost crossed um, lip balm and lipstick. This one's really pretty as well. I haven't worn this one much though. I love that look. I love that like really minimal look that you do with your like you know makeup makeup or even if you do have like a full face on it just softens everything up a bit next we have grenadine which is one of those beautiful berry colors i really love and this is one that i've worn a few times now okay this one you do need a mirror for um what I've also done is um, sometimes I've worn these with a liner and it gives you that really sharp edge. Um, otherwise, I don't mind wearing them like this without a liner so you do get that like really like juicy crushed look. Really pretty. All right, we're coming up to the second last shade that I have, which is a really strange because it's not a berry shade. It's not a brown. This one's called Telluride. It's kind of burgundy, but kind of not. See what I mean? Like it's kind of got like a Merlot, but kind of brown. But blotted down, again, beautiful. And then we have one which is just glorious. This is called Ruby. It swatches really similar to the last one, but it looks, oh, I love this one. It's almost got that brick ready look to it, but still has that berry look as well. Gorgeous, I love this look. I never thought I would. This is a look that's kind of come from Asia, I think that real like blotted down kind of stained look and I really am feeling it. All right, so that was Ruby. So that's 
um, six of the regular 23 shades. So 23 shades, that's a lot. Um, and they have been on counter for quite a while. And then this last shade that I'm going to show you is the one that's in collaboration with one of the Girl Crushes. And this one looks a little bit different in that it has a red lip print on the top, which the other ones don't have. And the um, middle colour is black and not colour matching like the regular shades. And this shade is in collaboration with a Kuwaiti blogger called Dalal al -Dub. And this is someone that I wasn't familiar with, but I've definitely gone and checked out her um, social media since um, receiving this lipstick. This one's called Daring Delalit and it's dark and vampy and beautiful. So here it is. It's got that beautiful purple look to it. How pretty is that shade? What I love about this formula is that, yeah, you definitely can make it a lot bolder with a matching um, lip liner. But just like this, if you're not someone who really wears a bold lip, you can still kind of get away with this. With that blotted down look. It's so much more wearable. Um, this one is really interesting because when I had the pink lipstick on, um, the eyes looked really pink. But putting this purple undertone one on has made the eye look quite purple it's interesting so like I said a few times these are out now okay so you can pick these up at Mecca you can get them at like a David Jones slash Maya counter um, there is a Bobby Brown studio at Mossman in Sydney um, and you can get them online all sorts of places these retail for $46 each these are a lipstick that will last you quite a long time because the formula is a little bit more of a I wouldn't say it's hard but it's a lot firmer than some other lipsticks but it um, gives quite, quite good colour payoff with just a few swipes, as you saw. Um, these three shades here, um, the two pinks and ruby, are the ones that I've been wearing the most of. I think this is a perfect pink. This is the one I was wearing before. So Bitten is beautiful. Uh, Cabana is just gorgeous. And Ruby, they're my top three picks um, that I've received. But all of them are very, like I said, once you blot them down, they're very wearable. They're very like work appropriate, but they still give you a really lovely, luscious kind of look to the lips. Let's leave this here. Um, surprisingly, after swatching those seven lipsticks, my lips aren't feeling too bad, um, but I've definitely had enough. <laughs> okay, so um, thanks for stopping by and uh, let me know if you have any questions about these lipsticks in the comments below. Otherwise, I'd love for you to subscribe and go ahead and check out my socials. So I'm on Twitter, um, I'm on Facebook, and I'm on Instagram. I'm Lipstick and Linguini. Um, I'll leave down below, there's some links there so you can click straight through to that. So I'd love for you to uh, keep up with what's going on. And thanks very much. I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming and spending a little bit of time with me in my little crummy internet. I'll see you next time.